it's an article from the hill it says nearly one in three americans say it may soon be necessary to take up arms against the government they call him like Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord, when his lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. You see, hey, ultimately, this is the Lord, man. You know, hey, because the Lord warned us of uproars of the people, He warned us of seditions and insurrections. Which is pretty much enchantments against the government. And he warned us of the Egyptians fighting against the Egyptians. You know, which the Egyptians will be you Americans today, man. You know, matter of fact, we can just throw it out right here, man. This Isaiah, all right, 19 and verse 2. He said, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And this, what you got, uh, that's soon to take place, man. He said, Hey, hey it may soon be necessary. You see, so this right here is soon to take place, man. Where the Egyptians, you Americans, is gonna be uh, fully against each other, man. You see, because hey, we we under the, a corrupt system, man. You know, Esau Edom. This nigga, he, he a corrupt government. This is a, a corrupt government that he established, man. You know, they 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 steal from you. You know, they uh that the wages here in America. You know, it, it's a it, it's it's the cost of living pretty much high. You know, but your wages, the wages that you make don't don't match your, your, your living, man. You know, for the lack of better terms. You see your job, the jobs don't don't pay you enough to sustain yourself here in America. So you got to have all type of side hustles and shit. And within your, and even with your side hustles, Esau still taxing the shit out of you, man. So this, hey, this is a corrupt government and the people, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come a time when people going to get tired of this shit, man. And especially these Americans, because we live in, Amongst the most wickedest and profane spirits, man. So it's gonna come a time, it's gonna happen, man. It's not far fetched. These patriotic, these Republicans, these Democratic, these fucking uh, militias, you know, these damn uh, ret uh, retired mili uh, military, you know, ex military motherfuckers and shit. It's gonna come a time where they're gonna get tired of this system. They're gonna get tired of how shit man ran here because it's soon gonna affect them, you know. It's gonna affect the patriotic American. You know, the racist American. You see? But again, he said, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. You see? So that's what you're gonna have taking place in America. You know? Back to the article, it say the read into it, it say a majority of Americans say the US government is corrupt, and this government is corrupt. That's why you have uproars here, man. That's why people riot and loot stores and break in homes and kill. Hey, ultimately because the wicked is bearing rule real quick. This Proverbs 29 and verse 2, he say, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. People are not rejoicing in America, man. How many people on Section 8? How many people uh, on government assistance, man? You know how many? Hey, the, the homeless, the homeless rate is high here in America, man. You know, uh, the poverty rate. You know, so you say when the righteous bears, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So, hey, that goes to show the righteous is not in authority, man. The white man is not a righteous seed. You see, you say, but when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn it. You see. And that's why you have a great morning going on, man. That's why you got people ready to bear arms against this nigga, man. Because he wicked and they sick of this corrupt system, man. You know, everybody tired of this nigga shit now, man. Even, even his own is tired of his ass, man. You know, you say, uh, back to the article, a majority of Americans say the U.S. government is corrupt and, all, and almost a third say it may soon be necessary to take up arms against it, man. Let's go and kill these niggas, man. And that's the spirit. That's the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is sick of Esau, man. You know, who you call God and Jesus is sick of the so-called white man. You know, which his true names would be Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh meaning he who exists. Yahweh Shai meaning he who delivers. Hey, they sick of this nigga, man. And it's showing by way of the people. You know? And they know that this system is not corrupt. Hey, it, it, ain't, it ain't no secret. Because uh, the Lord has made Esau better. You know, real quick. Because this nigga is no longer called the Lady of Kingdoms, man. 
You know, motherfuckers sick of America. Damn, these other countries sick of America. You know. <clears throat> this uh Isaiah 47 and verse 5. Sit thou, sit thou silently. Uh so, so like it, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. You see? Hey, cause the people. Here in America, they sick of this fucking place. And not only here in America, but all across the globe, man. You know, they sick of being under the rulership of this devil, man. This nigga going around with his democracy, his Pandora box, you know, bombing and raping and pilgrimaging these uh these countries for their resources, killing off their people. You know? Hey, this place ain't gonna be no longer called the Lady of Kingdoms. You're not gonna have pleasure in being in America in the days to come, man. You know, cause hey, this nation, you 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 witnessing the collapse of a uh, of an empire, man. Once the people started going up against the government, and you have you no longer have control of the of the citizens, you pretty much fucked now, man. You know, this being the land of the free, you can't go. You can try to go take their guns, but hey, that's gonna that's gonna strike a war, man. They're gonna start a war. You know, uh, real quick. Mark three, all right, in verse 30, in verse twenty four, all right. He's saying if a and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. You see, so America is not built to stand. This it's, this place is like a breach ready to fall, who's falling coming suddenly at an instant. So it's gonna actually come a day, a time, and season where America is gonna collapse. You know, the the power the power gonna go out, the food gonna collapse, the the cell phone towers gonna collapse. You know, the the banks gonna collapse. Everything is gonna go to shit, man. And you are gonna be stuck out here with the most profane and wickedest people here ever created, man. That's why it's, hey, that's why it's important to repent and and seek the Lord while He may be found, man. Get this understanding while you can, because this is gonna be your stability. You know, when these days come. You see, he said, and if, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And America is a house divided against itself. You have the Democrats, you got the Republic, the Republicans, you got the blacks, you got the whites, the Mexicans, you know, you got the Crips and the Bloods. This place is divided, man. You know, he said, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but has an end and you see that end is pretty much manifesting itself you know it, it it ain't no secret to know that we're in the last days now you know the vision is pretty much showing you see and it's gonna come a time man that america is gonna start to fear these birth pains man you know the the americans is gonna start to fear the birth pains man which you you have people complaining and whining over inflations and the gas prices but wait till the lord turn the heat up man wait till the, the the climate change you know it get hotter or it get colder and your heat not working or your air not working you know the water finally go out because i just did a lesson on the drought you see so hey when all these things come upon you man you're gonna be in the pitiful case because you and the lord said woe unto the world and them that dwell therein you got to come out of this system man you got to Return back to your house by Shemiah Shan and, and, and establish your, your footsteps out of out, after his order, man. You know, if not, don't hand be joined in hand. The wicked should not go unpunished, man. You're going to die with the so called white man. You know, the Lord willing is edified. Giving all the blame and praises to your house by Shemiah Shan by Shemiah Shan. Lord willing, until next time, I say shalom.